it's me, Excanadensis, and today I'm super stoked because I have this package here, and inside are three dolls. I got these from Facebook Marketplace. I bought a Mycene doll, and the seller had two other dolls that I thought were absolutely beautiful, and I recognized that they were from the Nutcracker, and I thought they were gorgeous, so I wanted to add them to my collection. Um, so I purchased them. I got a really good deal on all of these. I think I paid 70 total, which is about $20 per doll, which is a good deal for vintage dolls, complete, mostly complete. Um, and yeah, I found them on Facebook Marketplace if I didn't already say that. So let's get into the package. A little bit stunned that she shipped them in this kind of package, considering they're two collector Barbies and a um, Mycene doll, kind of expensive one, but it's okay. All right, so. The first one is my scene. I see Bling Kennedy, and oh my god. Wow. Okay, she's, she's way prettier than I anticipated. Wow. Oh my god. So her makeup is divine, first of all. And I love her hair. Oh, cigarette. <laughs> you gotta tell me that there's gonna be a cigarette smell. Ugh. No wonder they were so cheap. That's weird, though, because it was not in the description. Um, but she's trying to sell me more Barbies right now, which I'm pretty interested in them, honestly, but um, I will be paying less than I was going to. Um, I love I love this doll, though. Oh, my gosh. I love the hat. It's absolutely precious. The three little puff balls and the hair with the tinsel. Gosh, this is like the worst doll to have the cigarette smell too, because I, I like to attempt to wash it out. I know it's not going to go away, but I just don't want it to be like strong. But she has this really fluffy material all over her, so it's going to be a chore to get it off, but it's okay. Um, she has her bling necklace. It's not wanting to sit right because the, the collar of the jacket kind of moves it. Oh, her jacket's actually still tied on. Her jacket, or sorry, it's a vest. Her vest is dark blue. It has a silver stripe and a white stripe and a big old fluffy collar. Super nice, impressive piece, honestly. But the way they have her hairstyle makes it kind of fall funny over the... You see what I'm talking about? That's just kind of a doll thing. Um, her outfit appears to be a bodysuit. Yeah, which I love that they keep doing that because um, was it Madison from uh, Chillin' Out that also had a bodysuit? So cute. Looks so good and it it like it works so much better and it's long sleeve with big poofy sparkly sleeves and I love the print the like iron-on print all over the the bodysuit it's really adorable and it has the tiny little keyhole near the belly I guess it's kind of like this part of your chest like mid torso and then this belt uh, she also has a ring that you can just push right out it looks like maybe not though it might be permanent very nice. I hope it doesn't come out because I don't want to lose it. And then her pants are super nice. They're made out of like a like a slick material. They've got faux zippers. They do seem to be even. It's just that my scenes often will like lean on one leg, um, which they look cute styled like that. And then her big old boots, which again, so funny compared to the feet. Oh, it's twisted. Um, she's got like the faux fluff at the top, but it looks really nice even though it's fake and the big uh, blue gems and these big chunky chains and platforms. Super, super cute. This doll is really pretty. I, wow. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just really impressed. My scene dolls every time, I'm like, I like this doll, I'm gonna buy her. And then they come and I'm like, this is the best doll ever. Really love them. I'm willing to pay a premium for them that I'm not normally willing to pay for other dolls, so it's a little different. Uh, so there is Kennedy. Oh my gosh, my poor guy back here. <laughs> All right, and then next, I'm not sure who it's going to be, so I'll just... Okay, so this is the... Um, is she just called, like, the Flower Princess? I don't 100% remember. But this is the Flower Ballerina doll from the Nutcracker. And these, I believe, are some sort of um, label doll. I'm not sure which label they have on them if they're even label dolls if they're not label dolls I'm impressed because they're really nice oh she's so pretty love the hair all these little ringlets um I wonder if they came with stands because oh they need them it's okay I'm gonna I have stands for them she has little pink earrings she has rooted in eyelashes actually which I wasn't expecting super cute sorry the pictures I received were not amazing for these 
love her. My gosh, she's so pretty. The tiny little roses and the big poofy sleeves and big poofy skirt, which definitely needs a good floofing. It's in good condition. It's not ripped or anything. It's just kind of from storage all stuck to itself. Very nice multi-tiered skirt. Very pretty. And it's actually a separate piece from the top. Um, her skin, it's interesting. I'm used to modern Barbies, I guess, that are all so tan. She's very pale. Kind of almost my skin color. Skin color, I just said. Color. I think I might be paler. <laughs> of course. Um, and then her feet, it looks like the ankles are articulated to spin, but I can't get them to. Only one foot is articulated, but I can't move it. It's weird. Um, but the shoes are really nice. Uh, oh, I just undid the bow. No, I'm really bad at tying small bows. It's okay. I think this is really clever. So you see how you can't tell where the ribbon is like coming from? It just looks like an actual ballet shoe. It's coming from the bottom. So they've looped it through the bottom and then tied it. That's really smart. It looks really good too. And these are point shoes and her feet are specially molded to be in the point shoes. I think these are really, really cute. Super cute. And her feet, I guess, are stuck in this position forever. I don't know. I don't remember all the position names. I used to do dance as part of my gymnastics training. Very cute though. These are going to be fun to display. So, this is the flower ballerina. And then... The last one. This is the one I'm most excited about. I really love snow themed things. And this is the snowflake in the nutcracker. And oh my god, she's so pretty. Oh, she has a stain. Hope that's not cigarette related. Oh my god, she's so cute. Her little eyelashes, they're so short, you almost can't tell they're there. I really love the early 2000s faces on Barbies. And she has this really pretty... I wonder if they're 90s, actually. I actually don't know what years these, year these are. They could be late 90s. I love the little... It's actually metal, too. This Or is it? No, it's that plastic that has the metal patina type of design on it. Or, like, finish on it. It's very pretty. Um, let me turn off my ring light real quick, because it's preventing... There you go. Very pretty. Um, her hair is um, in a hairnet, possibly? Yeah, it is. Her hair is in a hairnet. It was never taken down by the original owner. So now I want to take it out. Here we go. Or maybe the, maybe the original owner put it in the hairnet. I don't know. It just looks like it's never been taken down. Very pretty. Super curly, soft hair. It kind of needs a good, like, brushing, but I don't know how to do that without destroying it. I'm scared. And these tiny little um, pin curls. And she's got her little earrings. She has poofs that are separate. Oh, is she only supposed to have one? Oh, dang it. Ah, oh, no. I didn't notice. Okay, well, she only has one of her little poof sleeves. That is so frustrating. This one's also stained. So even though she only has one, it's also stained. Uh, so I guess I'll take it off. Oh, that's such a shame. It's okay. I could probably make another one. Um, her uh, tutu is fantastic. It looks like it's kind of supposed to stand up, but it doesn't have um, like that big piece of cardboard or plastic in it to keep it up. So I don't know if it's meant to be like a full flat tutu, uh, but it's really nice. And the fluff underneath amply keeps it. Oh, well, there's our answer. It says Barbie collectibles here. I love this skirt. I love this whole outfit. She's beautiful. This little snowflake motifs and a little rosette. And could put her in little ballerina positions. Her body is... Are these elastic strung hips? I think they have elastic hips. That is very interesting. Sorry, I don't have like any Barbie collector dolls, so this is all like new to me. Huh. I'm really wafting that smell into my nose. Ugh. It's the kind of... I'm decently fine with cigarette smell, but like this specific type that this woman must have smoked. Ugh, I don't like that smell one bit. Um, I love the little type. It's fine though. I, I still am very excited about the dolls and I'm happy to have them. They're just going to need some work. And I usually like to be warned. And then her little feet and her little point shoes. These ones are blue and they have blue ribbons that need to be retied. <laughs> So pretty. I really like that they seem to both have different face molds. I, hmm. Yeah, I think these are two different face molds. Super cute. And here begins the Barbie problem. This, I'm, I guarantee this is going to become a problem. I think they're beautiful. 
Um, I don't know a whole lot about Barbie and to me Barbie isn't as exciting to collect because there's just too many. There are too many Barbies. I would never be able to get them all and that would drive me bonkers so I'm never gonna truly like collect them. I'll just buy ones that I like. Normally my goal is to complete lines so um, I'm really interested in the Fashion Fever dolls because I had one as a kid and really liked her. I obviously my scene. I don't really count that as Barbie though to be to be honest with you. Um, and some random collector dolls that I think are nice. The Barbie movie dolls I really want to collect. Um, any fairy lines, any, other than the recent ones. I don't like the recent ones. Um, but yeah. Gosh, the tinsel, it's so cute. I, did, I actually did not know that she would have tinsel. And it's even in her bangs. She's so cute. Um, okay, so that's it. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Um, bye! <laughs>